Oh, Just sir. question about your your signs. Sure. Walls has no balls. Why do you think that? Walls joined a pact with six other Democrat governors yesterday. In different uh, situations, and uh, some of them have as many as a thousand deaths from this virus. If he was worried about states' individual rights, he wouldn't join with six other states. He needs to listen to us, and not what Illinois or Kentucky is doing. Is that, that the only reason? That's why. Okay. Do you support Walls other ways? No. You know, he talks nice. He's very eloquent. He talks, <laughs> you know. He's a politician? You know, he's a politician. He's got that smooth liberal thing going on. But uh, that's about it. I'd rather see some action. I want to go to work. Working's essential. What do you, uh, what field do you work in? I work in construction. So we're essential. We can go to work. But my customers can't. Right. The people that hired me can't go to work. So essentially, you can work, but where you're going to go work is denying your... These, oh, sorry, guys, these people need to work, too. They need to hire me. I need to get guys, work. I, I need to go support other businesses with the money I'm making. Uh, uh, Everybody spokes in the wheel of the economy. So essentially, the order is affecting you because the people you're working for can't pay. That's right. I, uh, I worked for a nurse yesterday who canceled the install a couple times, and... Uh, She's out of work. She's a nurse. She's in demand right now. Right. We're in a pandemic. She should have work. Well, you know? if it's a real pandemic, right? Yeah, that's right. So, but she, even her, she has no confidence. She didn't want to spend the money. We had a contract with her. And, you know, we bought the materials, and we ended up finishing the install and getting paid. But, you know, she wasn't trying to harm our business, but she doesn't have the money to invest in her home right now. So... All right. And that's somebody who's in healthcare. That's somebody who's uh, the essential of the essential, and they can't even work. Right? <laughs> so, I feel your pain, What's bro. going on? <laughs> I feel you, man. That's what I do. Is I do construction too, so I'm yeah. right there with you. Yep, yep. And so, so I'm. We're we started doing this, and that's why I do it, so we can get it out. So I do YouTube live. Awesome. My channel's uh, Minnesota News Now. If you want to go and watch us later, absolutely, I'll check it out. You yep. see yourself. Great. <laughs> I have a question for you. One last. Yeah. If you if you got if you got COVID-19 today, would you refuse medical attention? Well, I'd probably treat it like I would a flu or anything. I'd focus on doing things that make me healthy, drinking lots of water. I like my lemon teas, you know. I like sunshine. Those are the things I normally do when I get sick. I rarely go to the doctor. I pay a ton of money for health insurance. And anytime I get sick or hurt a bone or a muscle i don't want to go to the doctor because it's so expensive so well, well question I, i'd keep doing the same thing question for you with the health care question so yeah. you pay premiums right yep and you have a deductible yes so do you think that all the money you pay in be even with your deductible do you use that money ever i don't ever use the money the money's out the window it's over a thousand dollars a month deductible, I forget, it's northwards of $10,000. So do you think you'd be better off just taking that money you spend and putting it in a savings account? Yeah. You know, my wife's the warrior in the family, and she's worried about catastrophic things, accidents, me falling out of the ladder, something like that, where I have a $100,000 medical bill that I can't pay. But when you add it all up, it's kind of... Well, what about insurance denying... We're at, uh, Denials. I haven't had that. No, but they do, right? So I've, even I've, I've heard. I mean, I can only speak for what what you know. What I go through, and I know I pay a ton of money for healthcare. It used to be under uh, man, it's like two hundred eighty bucks a month. But under Obamacare, wasn't it supposed to make it cheaper for all of us? And everybody knows that that didn't happen. Did you did you see it? So you've seen it go up since it that. Went way up. And then uh, I moved from Bloomington to. Southern Minnesota rural area. All we have is Mayo Clinics. I can't choose what kind of health care I want. I only get Mayo Clinic, which is the most expensive insurance you can get. Right. So, you know, I had a situation where uh, shoulder pain. I knew I didn't need x-rays. I didn't need pills. I didn't need anything. I just wanted somebody to tell me how to stretch my shoulder better. Yep. So the hassle of trying to go to a sports medicine doctor so I could work construction more. Yep. Was driving downtown into a parking ramp. That's just my name and all that stuff. Uh, parking and my uh, work truck, cool which is too tall, somewhere else. <laughs> getting right. in a different vehicle, going downtown. You know, it was a few-hour ordeal just to go to a 
a doctor. I go past several other clinics that aren't covered by my right. insurance policy. So, right? You know. Go America. Yeah, right. So. Corporate America. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's great. I'll check it out. Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. Yep. Got it. Uh, thanks for the plug.